Well, I mean, I have to say, Ian, of all the stories we did for this 20 cities, I totally geeked out the most over Litchfield Park. I just fell in love with the history, and I'm really excited that you're out there today to show off some of it. Uh, it's a great little city. It's a small city. It's 3.3 square miles. It's not very big at all. And I just remembered a few more celebrities that have stayed at the Wigwam. Uh, you might have heard of this guy, uh, Slim Shady, Marth Marshall Mathers. <laughs> very huh? nice. Ring a bell. <laughs> Missy, <laughs> Missy Elliott. Uh -oh. Okay. Nicki Minaj. Really? Yeah. How about that? Some I'm big names. I'm assuming they're saying yeah, there I'm because huge. Uh, I'm gonna... they were playing out in Glendale. Hey, Off Chin? Were they or playing off. at the Off Chin or something? Yeah. T tons of people were here for the Super Bowl because they're so oh, close to the stadium. Okay, okay. Um, but this is really kind of the crown jewel of the West Side, and that's kind of the modern day feel of what's going on here. But let's talk about how this place got its start. Way back when, we're talking like the early 1900s, Goodyear. The tire company set up shop, and the uh, executives, they kind of wanted to make this their headquarters, and they would have folks that were visiting the company come and stay here, and then eventually they say, well, let's turn it into a resort. And there's actually some buildings on the property here that are way uh, from way back then, from 1929, when it first really got going. So um, a beautiful hotel, a lot of old, neat adobe, and um, kind of a little focal point of the town of Litchfield Park. But there's a lot of modern things that go on, and they're uh, still in full swing here in 2017. Uh, Jenna Slagle is joining me. You're from Litchfield Park. What a cool little gig for you to um, handle PR and events for this uh, hotel when it's right in your hometown. What What's going on here these days? So upcoming events that we have here, um, our next one is Oktoberfest coming up in just a month, so September 16th. Um, it'll be right here on the front lawn. It's in partnership with the city of Litchfield Park. We'll have some live polka music, um, DJ entertainment, ongoing games, and contests. Um, a month after that, we kick off our Arts in the Park concert series, which is also here on the front lawn. If you can imagine 900 people sitting out there oh, enjoying wow. live music by local bands. Um, and then in November, we have our Beer Beats and Barbecue event, which we're very excited about. Um, guests will come join us for um, some beer samplings of local breweries, some great music, and uh, barbecue tastings as well. It's a great space, and we'll get some shots once the sun comes up. But it's this huge lawn and it's, it's almost like a city park in a way. Yeah, it's definitely our go-to for where we host events. Um, and I think that the, the community members here see that as that it serve, serves as that purpose. So um, it's, it's a great. Wonderful. Thank you so much yeah, for your time and you. thanks for having us.